Hello and welcome to St. Petersburg and to the Salvador Dali Museum. My name is Peter Tush, I'm the Curator of Education and we are pleased to have you here to experience something truly unique in the downtown St. Petersburg area, an international experience of surrealism and beyond. The reason to come to the museum first is to experience this incredibly transformative architectural experience. The building itself is an amazing feat from beginning to end. It truly is unlike any other building in Florida, and it is a beautiful place for this collection to be housed. The second thing would probably be the fact that we do have the most comprehensive collection of Salvador Dali's artwork anywhere in the world. And as a result, we have some of the most astounding examples of his uh, accomplishments and achievements as a surrealist artist for which he's celebrated. And we also have some of the finest examples of his large masterworks, these paintings that started really from about 1958 through about 1976, where Dolly was painting anywhere up to 13 feet in his uh, canvases to create these amazing stories. And so the experience as a visitor is that there are stories that unfold before you at every space in our collection. And then the third thing I think that's really uh, wonderful is that we have an incredible cafe. The Cafe Gala provides an opportunity to take a break from the collection and from the architecture, to have something that's uh, inspired by Spanish cuisine, to have this really delightful experience, and then dive back into the Dali experience. So we're here in the James Wing of the Dali Museum. This is where our permanent collection is. It's a remarkable opportunity to see the development of one of the most popular artists of the 20th century. You can see his early formative years, can see some of the most amazing uh, accomplishments he made as a surrealist artist, painting what he described as hand-painted dream photographs. And you can also see the last uh, four decades of his life where he explored nuclear mysticism, Catholicism, strange dreamlike stories about history. So this is called the Hallucinogenic Toreador. It was painted between 1968 and 1969. And in a way, it's a, it's a perfect piece for this collection because Dali set out to summarize his career. He was in particular the hero of um, many young people who would gather outside of his house in Port Legat and would wait to see the master. And in a way, the painting sort of addresses them as well as trying to impress everybody. So the painting I'm standing next to is also one of the most popular paintings in our collection. It's called The Disintegration of the Persistence of Memory, and it's a reference to Dali's 1931 painting, which has become sort of the symbol of surrealism, a painting called The Persistence of Memory that's in the Museum of Modern Art collection. But here what you can see is that the melting watches, which were very fluid in the original one, seem to be much more like brittle glass. And the landscape itself has become divided into almost what for Dali is a metaphor for atomic particles. It's a complete visit. It's a complete opportunity to kind of give you a delightful, full experience of art, culture, and then come out refreshed. <laughs>